Hey, what's up you guys? I hope you're all doing fine. In today's video, we are going to go back to Spark AR and then we are going to learn how to separate the background from the subject. And we're also going to learn how we can replace the background with a animated uh, animation. That's the right word. Right, so we are going to open a new blend project and then we're going to add a rectangle. This rectangle is going to add a canvas as well. And after that's done, we are going to go to the rectangle itself and we're going to adjust the size. If you click here one time with your left mouse button, then you can click on fill with. And then we're going to fill height, so it's going to cover the complete uh, surface of the camera. After that, we're going to go to the camera object here and we're going to add a segmentation. This is going to segment the person. Obviously, at this moment, you can't really see anything. So we are going to move back to the rectangle. Excuse me. No. Let's go. <laughs> no, we're going to go to the rectangle. We're going, to, we're going to move back to the rectangle and then we're going to add a material. Now we've got the material here and then we're going to Click on the material again, and we are going to separate the background from the foreground. So once you're at the material, you're going to click on the alpha here. You're going to activate it. And the texture, you're going to separate person segmentation. So as you can see, we have the person here, but it's still not ideal. So in this case, the only thing we have to do is we're actually going to invert the alpha here. And here he is, he popped up and the background you can change now to um, yeah, any color you basically want. <coughs> As you can see here, we can select red or green or yeah, just really whatever you want. Should I leave it here? I can leave it here. Uh, you also, if you go to pre uh, the person segmentation mask, you can play around with the edge softness. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Right, so the edge softness, you can see. Well, there's not much to see, to be honest. You can also add like an extra outline around the person. I kind of like this option. So now we're going to have to uh, replace the background, the the blue background with the animated background. So I'm going to stop this. And in order to have this done, uh, we're going to create frames of the animation. Um, you would think that you just add the MP4 or whatever uh, video file you have on your computer, but no, that's not the case. We are going to have to create the animation itself frame by frame, or actually if you have a video, then you can export it frame by frame. And then you can add it to Spark AR. And in my case, I went to Paxos, which is a great website if you're looking for copyright, um, copy, um, how do you call it? Um, damn, it's early in the morning, so I'm forgetting words. Right, so if you're looking for copyright free, because this is royalty free videos and, uh, and photographs, then this is actually a very good site to use. And so I already downloaded a photo from here, which is going to be a Galaxy photograph. I already brought it into Photoshop. That's the little star that I created in Illustrator just for the sake of the presentation. So we've got uh, the Galaxy background here and then we've got the star here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the star onto my background. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to uh, I'm going to multiply it, make them smaller, bigger, and then later on, every, each frame I'm going to change the size and the position of the star, so this way we're going to create an animated moving background. We're going to back to Spark AR and then we're going to add a asset. Oh, by the way, all the images are JPEGs, uh, the, the background images. So we're going to move to asset and then we're going to add a anim. No, we're going to add the animation sequence. Um, 
we can just put in moving stars because that's what they are and then we are going to choose a texture and then we click on choose file and then it's going to take you to a other animation that i've done made this touch right here we go so we're just going to select all the images and spark ar is going to take a couple of minutes and then here we go it says 12 frames 12 frames and then we're going to you need to it's actually ticked by standard so i guess that is going to be activated for you as well uh, but it should be the loop option and then for the frame per second we are going to change it to 12 because we have 12 frames okay so we're going to move back to material and then here we're going to click on this little arrow facing downwards and then you select moving stars the animation sequence we've just created and we're going to play the animation and here you go it has a little bit of diffuse color because we had a color selected earlier but if you put it back to white then it's going to turn translucent and then here you go you have your animation as simple as it is guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, yeah i'll see you um next week probably <laughs> have a good one bye